three candidates for the special election to fill the Claxton City Council, District 2 seat that was vacated upon Mr. James Waterdue's passing. Many of you already know me because I've lived in the area for, for almost 30 years. I've gone to school here, I've worked at various places locally, from the hospital to convenience stores, fast food restaurants, and cell phone stores. I hope to give you a reason to vote for me in the election on March 21, 2017, and to become your next city council representative. To do that, I will tell you my mission statement and my views on what Claxton has been, what it is now, and what we, working together, can attain in the future. Politics is about people getting together, often with opposing views, to work together for the greater common good. Too many people are not doing that these days. I welcome opposing views for discussion and compromise for the greater good. People are getting into politics to support a specific agenda, ignoring their constituents, being unwilling to compromise, or patting their or their friends' pockets. You have to remember, when you go into politics, it is a job, and that you are working for the people and not yourself. If you have too many people in a community that are unwilling to compromise, to change, to grow, to progress in a positive direction, you risk stifling a community that could be better and thriving, providing opportunities for everyone to live and to grow and to be happy. After all, everyone is entitled to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness according to the Declaration of Independence. I like Claxton. The people are great. The town isn't so big that you don't know most people by sight. Several people that have grown up here and some that have since moved away have talked about Claxton being a great place, often telling tales about department stores and soda shops and recreational facilities and movie theaters. It saddens me to see the economy in Claxton and Evans County wither up and rot while the citizens drive to neighboring counties to spend money that could be spent here, providing tax dollars and resources to our cities and counties and helping them to be just as good as those in the neighboring counties our citizens are currently supporting. I see great potential here if we work together for a common goal for the greater good. Why are we supporting another city or county citizen's economy when we could be supporting our own citizens and economy? Why do our citizens have to drive at least 30 miles for items that they used to be able to buy locally? Why are more people shopping online instead of supporting local brick-and-mortar businesses? The answer to all of those is because they have little to no choice in the matter. If a product or a job is not available locally, that means one must find it elsewhere. Eventually, people start wondering why they are even living where they are when they have to spend so much time and money going elsewhere. Then, houses sit empty, schools have fewer students, stores make less money, governments get less tax revenue. Less money coming in means less money is available to improve the city and county. So taxes get raised as the city and county seek to cover the operating costs. Fire protection, emergency services, police protection, schools, safe roads, street lights, none of that is free, even though you aren't paying a bill directly. When I think of Claxton's future, it is a nice and achievable dream. I envision Claxton's future as more lively than it is now, and hopefully more like what it was before, where there were stores and restaurants that everyone liked to go to and did not feel the need to go to neighboring counties to get things beyond the necessities. I imagine a town where we have places for our young people and older people alike to go and enjoy themselves, or in the company of friends. I picture Claxton being a place that people would like to visit and enjoy themselves so much that they decide to move here. I need your help to make this dream a reality. Will you help me help you? Vote for me in the special election, March 21st, 2017, and let's work together for a better Claxton. Thank you.